after becoming completely extinct, wild turkeys are one of conservationists' favorite comeback stories. Today, they live comfortably out in forests and suburban groves like this one here in Lansing. But that wasn't always the case. Once uh, settlement happened and the logging boom happened in Michigan, it decimated the turkey population. And basically, we think it went all the way down to zero, that turkeys were extirpated entirely from Michigan. That's Rachel Leitner, a wildlife outreach coordinator with the Michigan Department of Natural Resources. She tells me that the combination of unregulated hunting and the destruction of the turkey's habitat through logging and development were to blame for their extinction in the state. And so with no habitat and too many turkeys being taken, we essentially wiped out the entire turkey population here in Michigan. It took a two-pronged approach to see these feathered friends back in Michigan. We purchased 50 turkeys from Pennsylvania. There was a turkey farm there. Um, and we released them in a couple different sites throughout 1954 to 1957. Um, most of them, the release sites were around Allegan, Baldwin, uh, Gladwin, and Mayo. Each of those sites had forestry districts, Leitner says, so the birds had habitats in which to roost. That was step one. And we also were managing the habitat so that once we released these turkeys, they were able to find food and shelter to be able to make it through those harsh Michigan winters. It took about 10 years for the bird population to jump back up or rather fly a short distance up, much like turkeys themselves. It's been a successful reintroduction and we've got approximately 200,000 turkeys in Michigan right now. Today, organizations like the National Wild Turkey Federation, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, and even hunters play a big role in turkey conservation. Buying hunting licenses helps pay for some of those efforts. For now, reporting in Lansing, I'm Mel Myers, Fox 47 News.